Here we go. Well, I know he considers himself the best in the world. Shame on that. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York City. Weighing in at 200. The great one is here! The biggest crossover star is boxing in the top history! I can barely hear myself think. They call the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. And the atmosphere in here right now should tell you why. You can just feel the energy in the air. We're in the presence of the ultimate megastar, Cole. A man who's lived one of the greatest success stories ever told. Anywhere The Rock goes, WWE, TV, the big screen, he has triumphed. And he looks ready to light up this arena with the same electrifying moves that won him his legion of fans in the first place. While across from him is Shane McMahon, who always puts it all out on the line, and then some. Shane's an absolute madman, but it served him well through his career, making a statement and making memories. That's what Shane constantly sets out to do, and that's what he plans to do here. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. What's he looking for here? Headbutt to the groin. Oh, that was low. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. He just barely dodges. Makes him pay with a counter. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. It's easier said than done, but when you're in the ring with The Rock, the best thing you can do is try to shake his confidence. Pester him. Get under his skin. If you can frustrate and disrupt the great one, he simply won't be at his best. And that could create some The Rock going for a cover. Easily kicks out of that one. He got a little too confident with that one. And Rock gets reversed. Great thinking by The Rock. Was mounted with the punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Natural athletic ability shown by the Rock. Tough position for Shane here. Lands him with a spine buster. The most electrifying. There it is. Is he willing to endure in this match? The Rock reformulating his game plan. It was not enough to end this, so he'll have to move on to plan B. And what a throw that was. The Rock may be in a bad way here. From the top. Ooh. Down. Oh. Oh, what a counter. Set up with the side rush and leg sweep. Shane O'Mac putting it all on the line there, and boy, did it pay off. Enough already. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? What's Shane going to do here? Is it enough? Is it enough for Shane? Shoulder up there seemed like muscle memory for the Rock. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. The moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Face Buster first. Shot to the back of the neck. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, as this match goes on, he's learning exactly what it feels like to run into a Brahma Bull. And he stonewalls The Rock. Coming back in the ring. Boom at the button. Set up for the oh. sweep. Nicely done. Look at the foot movement. And a combination. 
Demolition offense was on display there. No, oh, no, their eyes, their eyes. Oh, right to the face. The great one is down. The Rock is down. What a kick out. I don't believe it. And to borrow an old catchphrase, The Rock says, not yet. All of that work, all these big moves, and it's still on the top. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. My goodness, that did not go as planned. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. Shane O'Mac wards that off. He returns to the ring. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. The Rock at a disadvantage. Will Shane O'Mac put it away here? Well, this is one matchup that looked up to its villain and then some. Here is your winner. Bang! Bang! I can't imagine a world in which they're not proud of that win. Shane O'Mac has reason to dance with a big win here tonight.